Hello friends, welcome to day 3 of the Trade with Trendline Investor Series. Now just to explain the series for newbies or newcomers who have joined my channel recently, I will be taking positional trades every day with a starting capital of uh, 1 lakh. That's what we started with, with and I will be sharing my learnings every single day with you. Now the objective of the series is to, is to uh, teach beginners or teach newbies in markets that it is possible to compound your money at a decent pace, you know, over many years. But the key thing that here that most of the beginners forget to do is risk management. So we will focus on risk management and we will see our trades every day and we'll see how it goes. And I'll keep sharing my learnings with you every single day. I hope you and I will learn a lot in this journey. There's uh, learning is always continuously happening in the markets and you have to keep learning um, every day and you need to know what's happening in the markets if you want to succeed in markets in the long run. So this is what I'll be covering every day. So first, we'll take a quick look at the trades in Zerodha. Next, we'll take a quick look at the charts and the current holdings and if there's any new uh, stocks that we'll be looking at. And also potential breakout points in case you want to take some other trades depending on your uh, decision. And we'll review our trading journal and we'll update the stop loss if needed. And also we'll see if there's any new entries and exits. Okay, so let's um, quickly look at the trades in Zerodha. So today actually, uh, there was not much action in the market. And if you see, we had a change, you know, um, upper industries 0.37 uh, was the biggest gainer after after Hindustan Zinc. So these were the two major gainers, and uh, the biggest loser today was um, you know Gufik Bio, which is on 0.24 percent, and actually uh, even Zinc had a decent one and a half percent for 1.1 percent fall. Even Shakti Films had a one and a half percent fall. But uh, zinc had a uh, Hansan zinc has the least position here, right? So that doesn't really impact our portfolio much. But uh, right now, Shakti Pump, if there's a big fall in Shakti Pump, it's going to impact our portfolio more because right now it's around 16% of our portfolio, whereas others are around 15.3%. Uh, and Goofy Bio is around, or it's already gone down from 15% uh, no, to 14%. So, um, so there was nothing, not much which happened uh, today in markets. So we're still going sideways, and that's reflected in your portfolio uh, your portfolio is the true reflection of what's happening in the markets if your portfolio is going down then you need to be cautious if the portfolio is going up then you also need to be cautious and try to keep your risk in place and try to enjoy the ride and don't be too uh, you know don't don't enjoy it too much and try to sell it off the moment you have gains try to ride the trends as much as possible and that's how you make uh, money in markets now remember that if you're invested in markets you are going to have uh, to sit quietly for 80% of the time or 70% of the time because the action happens only 30% of the time in markets or 20% of the time. Otherwise, most of the time, the stocks will be going sideways. They will not do, be doing much. It will test the patience of most of the investors and traders in markets. So the key in markets is once you take a position, uh, depending on what kind of a trader you are, you need to sit and be with the trade and let it go unless your stop loss is it. Don't fiddle with it too much unless you see other opportunities uh, in your existing positions. Okay, so uh, that's my uh, single advice today because um, last two, yesterday we had a good day, but again today we did not have a, a very great day. It was a flat day. So we're going to have this kind of a session, you know, many times uh, during our uh, series. So just don't think that I don't have any updates to give you and all that. So we'll always talk about some new learnings every day. Okay, so that's the uh, outlook. So today there was no orders which were triggered. This is completely empty. Uh, so GTD continue to, continues to remain the same. We still have the stop loss set, um, and yeah, the stocks have moved from positions to holdings. So if you're a beginner, uh, you will understand that when you buy on the first day, it'll be in positions, and then next day it'll come to your holdings. Okay, now let's jump into a second part and let's take a look at the charts and what the charts are doing. So yeah, let's start off with the first stock, which is Shakti Pumps. Now, Shakti Pumps actually gave a breakout yesterday, and then today it opened higher, but then it closed lower. Now, tomorrow, by any chance, if you get 810, that would be a good point to add if you've not yet entered the stock, right? So, look out for 810 as a level, and if you get 810, you know, keep a stop at 750 odd, and you know, take a position if you have not taken it. So, there's not much action; it's just a dip day um, after we went up for two days. Right. So also don't expect a stock to perform every day. You will always have, you know, dips after uh, massive rises. It's, it's, it's a normal behavior because there are short term traders who are booking profits. Um, yes, but the volume has been still, uh, you know, little higher than the previous days. So that could be probably a sign of accumulation. We don't know. But uh, I hope we move ahead 
uh, in the coming days. So Avanti is actually forming a beautiful pattern, right? So if you see right now, we broke out from here Avanti, and then we are kind of forming a symmetrical triangle pattern here on the lower time frame chart. And if you see this point, you know, I'm just going to um, go to the RT charts just to zoom in a bit. So if you see this point here, here, here. And today we didn't touch this, but we already have three touch points on the upper side and we have three touch points on the lower side. So we again formed a doji just at a 215 and we have not closed below this yet. So the stock is still strong. Uh, there's nothing much to worry. But the learning here is initially, if you had noticed, I had taken a position right at this point. Um, I was saying that, you know, sorry, I, take it, I, I took a position somewhere here, but I was saying that, you know, this the trend line uh, retested here. But then we broke down today. Now, the moment a trend line breaks on the shorter time frames, you don't have to panic. Just keep your stop loss to where it was initially and let the chart pattern morph. So, always charts, you know, sometimes a symmetrical rectangle might change into a rectangle pattern or, you know, a rectangle pattern can change into something else. Now, you know, markets always tend to change the patterns and the chart pattern. So, don't really um, panic just because this trend line broke, uh, you know, on the 13th of July or yesterday and uh, you should be actually keeping your stop where it was and stick to your stop losses and just observe what's happening to the chart okay so Avanti uh, is looking interesting I think we might break out tomorrow um, so if we break out the level to watch out for is this level right so 655 is the level to watch out for if you can close above 655 tomorrow uh, then it will be a good um, you know closing for Avanti the reason I'm saying 655 is um, so here if you see the close was 654.95 then here if you see it's six, uh, high point of 653.7 here again if you see high point 655 so we have three times 655 and the closing here was very important on that day so 655 again if you have a closing tomorrow about 655 it's very good for the stock but for now if, if we have if cross 655, 655 tomorrow you can still add on to your positions if you haven't so Hindustan Zinc is um, contracting very strong so we are almost at the edge of this now this is a perfect triangle because of the multiple touch points that i have i have uh, one two three and four here again one two three and again we are having now so this is going to break out and if it breaks out you're going to get a solid move because the longer the contraction or the longer the consolidation in a chart the higher the stock can move so this is a two months consolidation 19th may till now is two months a two months consolidation right at all time high you know if you see this chart on the weekly chart right at all time high is a perfect consolidation pattern so i am expecting this to head higher our stop continues to remain around 330 okay that's a very low risk setup next uh, per industries um, again inside bar kind of a day today now again here if you see we've been rejecting around those levels right so if you go to the shorter time frame charts you will notice that you know this is kind of acting as a resistance right now from the lower side we have still don't have any pattern but for now that is a beautiful downward sloping trend line on the shorter time frame so if we close above that then we are probably heading higher again so you might want to watch that level if you're a conservative uh, trader then 577 is the level you have to watch out for above this day's high so fact again inside bar so we've been having almost an inside bar yesterday and today as well so every candle is inside this big green candle right so Big first we had four five days behind in, inside this red green candle now again we're having four five days inside this green candle so yeah it's kind of a bullish uh, pattern we have not broken this low yet we have not broken this low yet so and the trend line is uh, right over here so i don't see any problem yet let's see what happens in the coming days so gofik bio has um, you know taken support today at this line so yesterday's low was 182.7 today's low was 182 but the close was 183.2 so you have not closed below yes, yes that day and for me a close below 181 is when i'd be worried but right now i think uh, our stop loss is around 180 right so if you see graphic buyer stop loss is around 180 so until our stop loss is not hit yeah continue to be in the trade but this is a nice consolidation again which is going on here next is tata bushin steel limited uh, it is still testing this trend line continuously so it is not gone inside yet it is just still you know testing the trend line we might probably head uh, even you know tomorrow by chance we might head towards 87.6 and then probably head higher now our stop for motion is 87 right so i don't expect that to be broken uh, but fingers crossed let's see so otherwise uh, some other stocks india mart looks very good so if you want to take a positional trade you can take india mart as a positional trade because today was a good candle in spite of you know um, uh, 
many of stocks are not performing in our portfolio. So if you see this downward sloping trend line, we are just right there. So tomorrow, if you get a chance, and if you see above 7500 in India Mart, that's probably a good level to add. You know, if you're a conservative trader, then your stop loss can be 6950. If you're aggressive, then you can keep your stop even at 7200. Okay, that's my India Mart. Again, ESAP is now moving. It has gone out of that range. So it is moving higher. So if you want to consider, you can. Um, sale, again, is still around that zone. So if you see everything is within this candle, um, there's something really, uh, you know, interesting happening in all the metal stocks. They're just consolidating so tight. The moment they break out, we're going to have fierce moves because this is again a two months consolidation, right? So you see that beautiful uh, volatility contraction. Now, these are the patterns that you want to watch. I already spoke about this yesterday, but that's a beautiful uh, contraction in volatility, right? So you see this, the moves getting, um, you know, smaller and smaller, right? So that's a beautiful pattern. Now, if we break out from here, then we are going to see probably, you know, levels of even 200, right? So that's 80% move from here, but we are probably heading towards that upper uh, end of the channel. That's what is happening in the stock uh, till now. So sale is a very good trade. Now you might ask why I have not taken this trade yet. So I want to stick to, to my rules. I want to stick to the holdings. I want to teach you a very disciplined strategy. And then you can go, you know, bonkers. You can, for example, if I was trading a personal account, then probably I would sell off, uh, you know, something which is not performing and then move to sale and keep a stop and lose. But remember all the stocks in our portfolio are also close to trend lines. So it's still not a bad uh, trade to be in. Okay, and we are not sure if sale will really give a good move after this. So this keeps sticking to your stop loss. Now, Likita, a beautiful candle today. Uh, it did dip below, but we managed to close above the trend line. So it still looks good. If you want to take a position, it's a very low setup. Tata Power, again, everything is inside this. All sandwiches, um, still going sideways. Now here, advanced enzymes are actually ejected from this line over here. So probably we're heading lower again. I'm not sure. But if we head lower, then it's a good option to add. But if we head higher tomorrow, above 425, then probably we are breaking out of this um, trend line. So probably there's some more time, I think. Yeah, so if you are looking to trade a breakout, then I would wait for this level to be taken out. So it's 428. So I wait for 428 to be taken out and then, you know, I would take the trade. Yes, guys, so that's the stock outlook. Uh, and the potential breakout points that I discussed. If you did take any of the trades, do let me know in the comment section. If you do not know the stop loss, do let me know in the comment section. I can help you with the stop losses for a, a positional swing trading, right? Or positional or swing trading, be it both. But for investor, it's very simple. Keep swing low as stops and try to try the trends. Now, reviewing our trade journal for uh, today, there's not much changes which has happened. Um, but just to reiterate, portfolio heat is the risk of an entire portfolio. So today if on one lakh, if all my stop losses are hit, then I'm going to lose 4,800, 4,845 rupees and my capital will come down to 95,000. Now, this is a very important um, parameter to track for even an investor or even for, you know, a short term trader, medium term trader, any kind of time frame trader. You should always know what is the amount that your portfolio can lose. And as of today, I'm still in loss. You cannot count your um, unrealized profits which is there in your trading portfolio you need to see what is my capital uh, if I if all the stop losses hit in my portfolio right so that's what you should need, you need to be looking at and the moment you start looking at this your per perspective towards trading will change completely right so again the other parameter that we track is risk reward now risk reward again don't look at see if you've seen I've not spoken about you know the absolute amount that is there in our uh, profits I've always spoken about percentage terms. So try to look at your portfolio in terms of percentage terms. Now, this will really help you when you scale your capital. Now today on a one lakh rupees, if you lose 10%, you're losing thousand rupees, right? Sorry, you're losing 10,000 rupees on a one lakh capital. But the same 10% on a five lakh capital will mean loss of 50,000. Now, if you are not able to handle 50,000 loss on a five lakh capital, but you're able to handle 10,000 loss on one lakh capital, then that's purely to do with psychology because the percentage move is exactly 10% on a 1 lakh capital, also on a 5 lakh capital. But if you can handle a 10,000 loss, but you can't handle a 50,000 loss, then your risk is kind of, uh, that the risk that you've defined is something that you cannot handle. So that's why I always look at RR, because if you look at risk rewards, then you know, then you know what is how much you're gaining and how much you're losing. So if you're betting uh, 1,000 rupees and if you're gaining 5,000 rupees, then it's a 1 is to 5 risk reward. 
But if you're betting, let's say your capital has gone big and you're betting 25,000 and you give 75,000. Now that's in absolute terms, you've made more money, but it's still a one is to three risk reward. So you bet 25,000 on a trade and you made 75,000, which is one is to three, right? But on a thousand, when you get 5,000, that is one is to five. So actually you've done better when you had a one lakh capital and you're not following that or you're not able to hold on to your profits when you had a five lakh capital. Now, Try to start looking at your portfolio in terms of portfolio heat, in terms of your percentage risk per stock, in terms of risk reward. Now, that's what is going to help you change your mindset towards, you know, capital. And when you scale your capital, because most of us are earning every day, every month we get a salary. So when you scale your capital, you will not look at absolute money and you will not get disturbed. Right. So that's uh, that's it, guys, today. So I hope you can take this learning from today. Uh, I hope we get to see some action uh, tomorrow in our portfolio. Otherwise. I hope I'm sure you're if you're watching this, you're enjoying this series. Um, it might not be very well structured. I'm just talking whatever comes to my mind. So I hope you can bear with me, be with me, and uh, let's see where we proceed or how much we can compound this online capital. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share this with your friends. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going to benefit from this. And yeah, take care. See you tomorrow.